Hi everyone, my name is Melena Sparks. You're watching Fern TV. I'm here at the Real World Film Festival 2016. all your research and everything, how long did it take you to write the screenplay? It took us, uh, we've been, we were working on it on and off for about seven years. Okay, but wow. we started writing it after this, the first movie that we made, which was called Breaking Upwards. Mm -hmm. And then we took a little break, went and made another movie, and then came back to it. We were trying to get it going, but it, it's hard to get a movie off the ground and takes a while, takes a lot of resources and financing and actors, just so many elements that have to come together. And so it took some time before mm -hmm. that finally happened. Most of the world doesn't know that genetically modified organisms are in 80% or more of processed food. Scary. It, 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 <laughs> it's scary in that we don't know because it, it's not labeled. Exactly. And. Both Zoe and I believe that we have a fundamental right to know what's in our food. And so, started learning and researching more and finding out what was going on with farmers, small farmers in particular, who were being bullied by these biotech corporations over seed patent infringement and threatening their livelihoods and biodiversity and kind of the corporate monopolization of our food supply on a global scale. And it just seemed like a really convoluted subject that had a lot of misinformation out there and perfect for a political thriller. Mm -hmm, no <laughs> kidding. What do you think your film says about the world that we live in today? Do you think that we're sort of doomed? <laughs> or wh what do you think? How do you feel I, about I do that? think that it's in a <laughs> dire place. Yeah. I, I think the film raises a lot of thought-provoking questions about the future of our food and and this battle between the organic food and environmental movement and big agribusiness mm -hmm. and where biotechnology is headed. I believe in science. Absolutely. Uh, fully. I just think that we need to make sure we're doing the proper safety assessments in the name of science before we mass release, you know, all of all of this genetically modified food on t onto the world stage. You know, it's important to support local farmers markets, it's important to... Buy locally. To buy locally, to try and avoid chemicals mm -hmm. and additives and unhealthy preservatives that are in a lot of processed foods that we've seen linked to so many diseases and health issues. And so looking for labels especially ones that say non-project, non-GMO project verified okay. is a good way to avoid GMOs um, and looking out you know for organic labels as much as possible I think is also a good thing to do. So what did you want the audience to take away? What was the main message? You know there's a lot of different topics that we touch on in the film. Yeah. I think the overall kind of what I was saying before, which is just to think about what you're eating, what you're feeding your children, to try and be mindful of healthier ingredients, mm -hmm. and really just to question the system itself, and is it serving us? Or the you know, big corporations. Yeah, exactly, is it, or is it, is it really the, about the bottom line of, right. of these corporations, which a lot of people don't realize most of those biotech companies really started as chemical companies. That's so scary to hear. <laughs> kind of rebranded themselves into life sciences companies. Uh. And so you have to ask yourself, are they really more concerned with selling their chemical herbicides and pesticides that have to be kind of sold in tandem with the genetically modified seeds? Or if they really do care about, you know, some of the lofty um, kind of goals that they kind of set out, like that they want to feed the world. Well, 
counter uh, fact to that is that we actually already have enough food to feed the world, and it's it's not about making more of it. It's a, it's a it's really actually about allocation and distribution. So it's about getting the food that we already have to these areas where there isn't food. Okay. Yeah, and most of the genetically modified food actually is uh, going towards the it's going towards cattle feed and biofuels. Okay. So it's not actually going towards feeding people, uh, except in its kind of concentrated derivative forms and processed foods, which mm -hmm. actually aren't that healthy. People should just try and, you know, be mindful and, and really pay attention to what they're eating. Well, after watching your film, I'm definitely going to try and grow my own garden. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And yeah. check out the film. It's on Netflix and our website, which is consumethemovie.com and iTunes, a few other platforms. So yeah, please check it out. Spread it around. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Thank very you good. very much.